What's up everybody? It's your girl T Green coming back at you with another video. And, and today I'm going to be doing a product review for the Teriyaki Veggie Burger made by Sweet Earth. A screenshot of the product will be in the video. Um, and you'll get a chance to see what the packaging looks like and what the actual product itself looks like. And also um, I'll show you that I put um, a quarter of a cup and then of put the lid on water the pan so that it can kind of steam um, instead of just pan searing the uh, product. So anyway, let's get right into the taste test um, because I've never had this. I was very interested before. in seeing what the product tastes like as well as the texture. Um, I am absolutely in love with the Beyond Burger, but I do try different um, products on a regular basis just to kind of keep my mind open. Another product that I like is the Morningstar uh, Spicy Black Bean Burger. And this past week, I've actually been eating the Black Bean Burger as part of my breakfast to kind of bump up my protein. So basically what I did is um, I went to Kim San with my husband yesterday and I got um, a vegetarian dish it that has they have there, broccoli, snow peas, mushrooms, um, I can't remember what all else, onions is in here, carrots, and there are a few other um, vegetables. And in here and so basically what I just did is I just took because I can't eat the I can't eat all the vegetables and then eat the patty as well so I just cut the patty in half and so I'm gonna go ahead and, and taste the, the patty so that you can see what it tastes like I do believe one of the ingredients and I'll, I'll leave a screenshot of the back of the packaging as well that'll show the nutritional uh, values and as well as the ingredients that's in the the veggie burger. I want to say that I remember seeing that it has quinoa in it, which is awesome because that is definitely a super grain. So for the first time, we'll taste and see what it's like. Mm. Well, besides the, um, the pan searing on the outside, there's like a little something that's um, not extremely crunchy, but it has texture to it. The The texture of the patty itself is really dense. So I don't know if that comes from the type of uh, plant protein that they're using. I do remember seeing that they're, um, it's not potato starch. I think it's vital wheat gluten okay, that they so, use. And um, I think that the product is a little dense because they use vital wheat gluten. Um, as one of the ingredients and if you pair that with the quinoa um, it will be very easy for the the patty to be a little dense um, the flavor is okay um, I think it's probably something if you've never had a veggie patty before that you would have to get used to you can tell um, all that it's full of different ingredients it has a really nice um, color it didn't take uh, long did. for you to bring it up to temperature because it is a plant-based uh, product and so unlike meat it does not have to be um, heated up to you know a certain a particular temperature um, you just need to bring it up to the desired temperature so anyway um, I'll take another bite because I want to talk about the actual flavor of these seasonings and the spices So one thing that I noticed is that um, it is a little herby. I'll have to look at the ingredients to see what it is that I'm tasting, but I do taste like some actual herbs in there. And I'll have to look at the packaging and see exactly what it is that I was tasting. <clears throat> but overall for this product, I'm not extremely excited about it, but it's definitely a product that I wouldn't mind repurchasing. So say for example, um, if I needed to do like some grilling or something like that, and I was definitely trying to um, have a, um, a high protein meal, this uh, patty has 14 grams of protein. Um, the only drawback or one of the drawbacks to 
that I did see is that on the nutrition panel, it has 27 uh, grams of carbs. And um, there is a sugar. I don't know if there's there are other flavors. If there are any other flavors, then I'll do a screenshot so that you can see what the other flavors are. But anything I do believe that um, is flavored teriyaki is gonna be high in sugar anyway. Because that is just like one of the ingredients that you make a teriyaki sauce uh, out of. So anyway, I will give this one thumbs up, not two thumbs up, because it is a product that you can pair with other things, um, whether it's some type of sauce, if you just use regular condiments like mayo or mustard, um, that it will actually enhance the flavor of the patty. It is not nasty, I will tell you that. The flavor is um, is definitely, um, has like an, a, a backdrop of some type of herb. I can't really tell what it is. Um, it is not strong or overpowering. Um, I personally would, this is not a patty that I would do as a burger or a sandwich because I think that the it being dense uh, would, for me anyway, the bread would just be way too much. So I would be able to have this either by itself with maybe a side salad um, because I think that it does, you do want to enjoy the flavor of the ingredients that are in, that's in the patty. So once again, this that's gonna do it for my product review. Uh, this is the Teriyaki Veggie Burger from Sweet Earth. And I did pick this up uh, at Kroger. Um, I have seen this product at Randall's. I'm not really sure if they sell it at Whole Food or Target or um, any of your other local grocery stores. But I think that it's worth checking out. And if you enjoy having something that is um, has kind of a herby or earthy flavor to it, this will be right up your alley. Once again, it is a little dense, um, and which is definitely not a bad thing because that means that it'll you will be fuller um, than just having like a regular plant-based uh, veggie burger. Most of the be veggie burgers, like say for example, the black bean burger that I mentioned um, is not dense. So, you know, some people, depending on how big your appetite is, you might need to have two two of the black bean patties versus just the one. With this one, I think that you'll be pretty satisfied with just the one. So anyway, that's gonna do it. And this is your girl T Green out. Take care. What's up everybody, it's your girl T Green coming back at you with another video. Today I'm actually going to be giving you some information on a few products that um, I purchase on the regular and also some that I'm trying for the very first time. So we wanna go ahead and get started with this product review. First up are these grapes that everybody has been talking about. These are the cotton candy grapes. <laughs> What's up everybody, this is your girl T Green coming back at you with another video. This is very special for me because the video that I made telling y'all about my best friend, that's his grandson in the back seat. And uh, there he is, say hey Chris. Hey Facebook. <laughs> this is you too. <laughs> this is my boy y'all. I had to make sure that y'all got a chance to put a face with a name because my whole video was uh, talking about how I met him. So yeah, we hanging out for a little while today. And I'm glad because it's been a it's been a minute. It's a don't I am gonna turn the camera so he don't talk about me too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's alright, that's alright. We're trying to make up for lost time. So my birthday was on the 9th, his on the 15th. And we sit up here now talking about what we need to do to celebrate. I don't care if it is October, we still <laughs> you gonna make it right. We still got to get together and uh, and celebrate. You know, that's how us Virgos do it. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, so we done came here to Sprouts because I want to check out these cotton candy flavor grapes. I'll have to let y'all know if I find them. Because I heard they're supposed to be pretty good. So we'll check it out and let you know. So I wasn't gonna even waste my time. I absolutely love fruit, but I wasn't even gonna waste my time because I'm like, yeah, they probably taste like cotton candy. They probably smell like cotton candy, but yeah, what's the big deal, right? So yes, I have to say that my curiosity got the better of me. And so I went out and I purchased the cotton candy grapes. So I have here some that I have that are washed off and, and everything. And so we're gonna go ahead and do a taste test. Mmm. I will tell you 
that when I smelled the bag, you can actually smell that they taste like cotton candy. But I didn't think they would taste like cotton candy. And I can taste it, but there's like a really, for me, it's very subtle. It's not, like say for example, if you were to eat these grapes just as is, you know, in a bowl without uh, somebody telling you that they were cotton candy grapes, you would be able to tell that there was a very distinct flavor, that there was something different about these grapes, but I would not be able to say that it was actually cotton candy. So... Hmm. I think I kind of agree with um, uh, Pretty and Flawed. Her uh, Pretty and Flawed's review was the last one that I saw. And one of the things that she mentioned was that she could taste it like on the back end of, of the grape. So she had to eat a few of them to kind of really say, you know, definitively that it tastes like cotton candy. And um, you can check out her, her review. Um, but yeah i don't know i fortunately for me because i think she said she paid 4.99 a pound and I, these were 3.99 a pound at the sprouts where i live so i guess it depends on where you go that's probably the pretty standard price for grapes anyway um like i said it depends on where you shop whether it's whole foods or kroger or uh randall's or somewhere like that um it just depends on whether grapes are um um a little bit more expensive based on where you buy them so to me they were pretty the price itself was was about the same as what i what i have paid for grapes but i wouldn't specifically go looking for these grapes so we're gonna finish these up but this probably won't be a repurchase for me so um i don't know if maybe eating them ice cold because sometimes fruit tastes better the flavor comes through um better if they're ice cold so maybe i don't know i'll leave them in the refrigerator for a little while and then i have to pack my lunch for tomorrow so maybe tomorrow they'll taste a little better <laughs> anyway we're gonna move on to the next product so the next product, which is my absolute, absolute favorite, I have coffee every morning and in, um, in order for me to drink my coffee and really enjoy it, I have to have my crema. So for me, this Nestle's brand uh, cinnamon vanilla creamer is my favorite. This is my go-to. I, If I don't have that creamer in my coffee, my coffee just does not taste the same. So I enjoy it. I even get the little happy feet <laughs> when I have my cinnamon vanilla creamer to go in my coffee. Um, it makes me close my eyes and just kind of lay my head back. It's just so good. I love the taste of cinnamon and the creamer just makes my coffee, you know, perfect. So the other product that I want to talk about um, is a creamer that I've used before and I really didn't care for it. So I never rebought it or repurchased it. But um, what happened was I had a hard time finding my cinnamon vanilla creamer. I went to this grocery store that I normally go to and they were out. Um, I tried a couple other grocery stores and I couldn't find it. And so um, I didn't have it for a couple of weeks. And so I had to get something to go in my coffee. And what I decided to do, because I had purchased this once before, was go ahead and repurchase. And this is the white chocolate mocha creamer made by International Delight. And I don't know if it was the coffee that I put the creamer in or what was going on, but um, if I find a coffee that's Colombian or it's a dark roast or, you know, it can be a store brand, it can be a name brand, it doesn't matter. My favorite, favorite coffee is uh, uh, Black Silk. Folgers, black, my favorite coffee is Folgers Black Silk. So if I don't buy Folgers Black Silk, I'm looking for something that's a dark roast or a Colombian. So it could have been that I had um, an off brand name of coffee and it just kind of didn't mix well with the creamer. And that was the reason I didn't like it. But this time when I had to buy it because I couldn't find my cinnamon vanilla, I put it in my coffee and I was just like, oh my God, this is so good. So I was very happy to see that, you know, maybe it was the coffee. That's what I'm gonna kind of chalk it up to. But this is gonna be my second favorite. So when I can't find the cinnamon vanilla, the white chocolate mocha by um, International Delight will be my go-to. All right, moving on. The next thing that I want to review, and um, if you watched my video, 
uh, where we did game night and things like that, one of the things that we did was um, we did taste testing of like cereal bars, uh, breakfast bars, protein bars, and things like that. And in during that time, my daughter <laughs> divulged that she used to steal my Luna lemon bars because these are my absolute favorite. I haven't had one in a really long time. I kind of backed off from eating them because, you know, like I know if you eat something, you know, for a really long period of time, there's a, a possibility that you could, you know, experience burnout. You just get tired of eating it. And this was one of those products. I wanted um, something in place of it, you know, and so I started doing like the crump breakfast crumble and things like that or the scramble and uh kind of kind of got away from eating breakfast bars all together but i recently went and uh, picked another one of these up and so tomorrow i don't need to open it and taste it because i can tell you what it tastes like i ate them for so long so this will be um actually on my on the menu for me to have for my breakfast for tomorrow so i have my coffee with my cinnamon creamer and my cotton candy grapes <laughs> as a snack and then i have my uh my luna lemon luna bar uh, for tomorrow and just to kind of give you a little information on the luna bar and keep in mind across the board a lot of these breakfast bars may be high in carbs or high in sugar um you know they're behind protein because that's what they're supposed to provide um uh protein nutrition for you but um they can potentially also be high in carbs or high in uh in sugar so this particular bar has 190 calories um, there are six grams of fat and it has 95 milligrams of sodium so it's pretty good on the sodium that's that's really low for a protein bar um, it does have 120 milligrams of potassium so that's also good because uh, we need potassium to ward off like um, leg cramps and muscle cramps and things like that it does have 26 grams of carbs um, with two grams of um, dietary fiber which brings your net carbs to uh, 24 it has nine grams of sugar but it has uh, eight grams of protein so I guess it depends on what all you ate with this so if you maybe did uh, half of the bar with you know uh, maybe a protein shake or a sh um, smoothie or fruit or you know something else um you could actually eat the other half as a snack so anyway that's gonna do it for me for uh this product review i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up for this video and we're asking you to comment share and subscribe if you haven't already done so and we will check you out in the next video remember love yourself love somebody else until next time take care bye